size and the history of the crowd speaks for itself. It was a no-brainer for me. Honestly, I just can't wait to get started and can't wait to crack on. Steph, you're officially a Foxes player. How does it feel to be here? Yeah, no, I'm honestly happy and delighted to be here. Um, it was one that was in the pipelines for a while and uh, myself and my family are just happy that it's over the line now. What first attracted you to come here and, and play for Leicester City for the next stage of your career? Well, obviously the size and the history of the crowd speaks for itself. And uh, me, myself personally, I uh, wanted to come back to, to England and continue my football here. And then obviously speaking with the manager and some staff here, obviously it was a no-brainer for me. The facilities, like the training ground, um, like is amazing. Um, I feel like we have all the tools here to, to, you know, to be successful and to work hard. So yeah, I feel like it's a, it's a nice environment to work. And up to this point, you've had quite a varied career so far. You've been out in Italy and in France as well. Can you just give a little insight into what those have, have done for your development? Yeah, so obviously I uh, moved to Italy for, for a year. I was in Italy for a year and I felt like that was a good experience for me. And I felt like um, it was a, a brave step at a stage in my career to, to make. And so after I'd done the year in Italy, I moved to France and I was there for four years. And I just, I feel like with these two experiences, I've grown and matured a lot and learned lots of new things about life in general and obviously about football. And yeah, like I said, I just felt like it was time to come home and continue my football here. Yeah, because obviously you get some different cultures and different styles of play. So both on and off the pitch, you're getting so many different experiences out there. Yeah, of course. I mean, it's always it's always uh, nice to see like a, some, a change, you know, so a different style of play, a way of playing to what you're used to. So obviously, and it's good for yourself to learn to learn new things in, in football. So, I mean, um, my past experiences have been you know, I would say they've been successful because I've learned and I've grown as a person and a player, and that was the main thing for me. You've played in, in England, of course, as well, though, in the Football League, in the Championship yeah. as well. So do you feel like you're coming back now at maybe hitting the peak of your ability at the moment? Yeah, you could say the peak, but yeah, like you said, um, I've played uh, previously in the, in the Football Leagues. I, was, I played in League One and the Championship briefly, so I feel like uh, I know what it takes to, to compete in these leagues. Obviously, it's not going to be easy, but I feel like, um, you know, coming to the training ground, I feel like we have all the tools um, needed to, to, to be successful. So, yeah, I'm just looking forward to it. And on a personal level, I guess one of your aims as an attacking-minded player will be to contribute with goals and, and assists at the top end of the pitch. Yeah, I mean, uh, I feel like every attacker loves to score goals, especially me. So. Um, yeah, my, my job is to obviously work hard first and foremost for the team and to, to help um, you know with the goals and obviously assisting my teammates to score. So yeah. And coming in just before the season starts, I'm sure you're looking forward to meeting all your new teammates. Yeah, I saw some of them briefly this morning. Obviously coming back from uh, Asia, and yeah, I was just upstairs having some breakfast with the with the new manager, and we were just talking about that like, style of play, etc. So. Yeah, honestly, I just can't wait to get started and can't wait to crack on. Yeah, because obviously all the focus now is he's on that first game playing Coventry on Sunday and getting the championship season started. Yeah, I feel like um, pre-season is pre-season, isn't it? At the end of the day, pre-season is there to prepare us for the season. So I just feel like um, everyone's raring to go and everyone's excited to, to get the season on the way. Cheers, Steph. No worries, thank you.